Hey, how's it going, everybody? So with the recent passing of Fables of Grim Forest, um, I wanted to look at one of the older heroes from there that I think goes back to, like, 2018. So we have Red Hood, who is sort of like a pseudo-healer, kind of a niche hero and sort of a strange choice on defense. Um, as you can see at plus 18, the stats are pretty low for what we're seeing these days where like um what's her name frig for example can get like an 880 attack and 820 defense with that and like almost i think that's still at like 1400 hp so um significantly higher collective stats um for this hero average speed does 131 percent damage to all enemies Summons a fox minion for each ally with 14% HP, which is not too bad for 1,500 HP. Um, and then that number is going to increase also with troops. So we'll look at what the HP of those minions are. The interesting thing is the minions recover 7% health for the owner at the end of each turn and protect from direct mana reduction. So that's not just all mana effects like Poseidon, um, who even blocks against the Vanaheim realm bonus. Um, so that's more encompassing. This would be like Lady of the Lakes minions or Gwyn, um, heroes like that. I guess Onatel as well, but I think Onatel's hit would kill the minions, so they're a little bit limited in that sense. Uh, the healing is kind of nice. It's like a hundred and something per turn, so we'll make sure we give her a chance to fire. This team might actually be difficult, but the, there's only really one strong damage dealer. So, um, okay. So, as always, I want to get my reds going before Teluria increases the tiles to charge for Gravemaker. Um, so, with her. Huh, why didn't they go up with troops? 1497, I thought the numbers displayed were pre-troop numbers. Oh, maybe they're not using a crit troop. Because uh, mono troops don't give added HP. They give a healing bonus addition and not a added HP. So that might be it. I wasn't paying attention to what the troops were. Wow. Okay, that makes things a little easier. Let's just get rid of Magni while we're here. lead with her whoops shit <laughs> okay well that gives you some idea about her durability uh, let me just kill one more of these heroes and we will rematch this team Victor is also one of those low durability heroes. Okay. Whoopsies. Uh, that was not the ideal way to use those blues, but I didn't want to hit Red Hood with all of them. Because she, she's so fragile and all. Alright, set off Teluria. We'll get our blues here. Hopefully she's going to fire in a second. Kill Magni. Yeah, I was looking around online and there's still a lot of people that feel um, are fond towards her, but I just think she's a bit dated. So the damage is high 170s, um, which is not bad. Again, that's on defense, so it's going to be 20% less if you're using her on offense. They healed for about 120 each, and the minions are low 200s, which is not bad. It's on the weaker side. Like, I think Nora's minions are the strongest at, like, 378, and then 
Bira is the second strongest at like 278 or something like that. So she's definitely on the lower end of the spectrum there. I don't have any mana effects, but I don't think that is something that really needs to be demonstrated if you understand how it works. Um, interesting. Why is she only healing for 104 and she's healing? It doesn't make any sense because Grizzul's HP is way higher. So 10% or 7%, is it? Covers seven percent for its owner, so seven percent of a bigger number is a bigger number. That's weird. I don't understand that. As always, if you do know what I'm missing there, because I'm sure I'm just missing something, uh, let me know in the comments. Yep. Yep. So she's pretty fragile. Um. That's unfortunate. I don't, I really don't like the support heroes that are so weak. There's definitely a class of heroes that are like that. Um, but you can see what her, um, I was going to say what her stats are. That's one thing you can see what her stats are with high emblems. You can see what her minion HP is in this video. You can see how much you can expect to heal, how much damage she can expect to do on defense, and then how fragile she still is. Um, with all that stuff kept in mind. So I think she's one of those heroes that would be nice for them to buff as they, you know, they're doing a lot of these balance changes lately and they haven't really touched the event heroes, which I can understand them not wanting to get into everything. Um, but it seems weird that they would give buffs to the season three heroes and ignore some of these clearly underpowered older event heroes because um, it just makes them less desirable. So there's no reason why they can't bring her up to speed in the game if they want people to still pull in these portals. Because right now, the only hero that's really good... Some people like Snow White because she does have a lot of power. Um, I'm not that sold on slow heroes unless we can get some more fast mana buffing heroes that can get those slow heroes rolling a little bit faster. We have some, some that are decent at that. We have some that are slow that do that, some that are average, but... Getting some more in the fast category could um, bring a little bit more utility out of some of those slower heroes. But again, there's no reason why they can't buff her a little bit. Um, because it, as I was saying, the only hero that's really that good in this portal, I think, is Puss in Boots. Just due to the kind of... One, it's the only five-star red healer, aside from Grizzul, who's kind of a partial healer. She doesn't heal very much. She's still good, but um, but he also has that unique capability that I think is going to come into play more and more as we see more minion casting heroes in the game, which is that he will summon a minion um, for each of the minion casting heroes on the team. So that's a pretty unique uh, characteristic and one that's pretty fun to play around with. Um, but it's hard to chase after one hero when all you have is a 0.2% chance um, and the other heroes are not that uh exciting so um thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video